Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to be playing Horizon. Now, if you guys didn't see my last video playing this game, we built this Huracan right here. So I'm going to leave a link in the description in case you guys want to see that video, because look at this Huracan, dude. It's really, really fast. But today we have almost $1.6 million to work with. And I remember in the last video, I said I wanted to build an Aventador, right? But I figured, since I grinded for so much money, why would I stop at an Aventador? And so I decided, like, once I hit a million, I was like, I'm gonna go all the way to get a Bugatti. So that's exactly what I did. You see, the Bugatti in this game costs 1.5 million dollars. And as you can see, we have 1.6 million, which means we have enough to customize it and do everything that we want to do to this Bugatti. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Um, I, I can't believe I went from buying an Aventador, or planning to buy an Aventador, to now buying a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. Look at this, 1,200 horsepower stock, and keep in mind you could upgrade it and all that, but $1.5 million. Now, I'm going to be severely disappointed if this car is not fast, but there we go. We purchased the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport for $1.5 million. We're down to $83,400 now, so we are broke pretty much. However, we have a Bugatti. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to look at it. You know, I might have gone broke, but I have a Bugatti Veyron. So, life isn't that bad. And without further ado, let's take this Bugatti for a drive. Alright, so before I go customize it, like I said, I want to give it a test run. And I can't believe I already crashed into someone's character. Um, but yeah, so let's just take this on a test run, just straight down this straightaway here. Let's see how fast this Bugatti can go. We're already... We're already at 220. We're going very fast. <laughs> um, I, I think this might top out at 250. Yeah, we're at 252. Okay. Now, the thing is, I think the Hennessy Venom GT is actually faster than this, like in top speed anyway. But nothing is as nice as having a Bugatti Veyron. So, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to just have this Bugatti instead of the Hennessy Venom. But... Let's actually go customize this. I can't believe I just went straight through that tree. Um, let's go customize this now. And, I mean, look at how fast this car already is. Oh my god, I crashed. Um, here we go. Let's just go. Like, we're literally, like, drifting around every turn because this is just that powerful. Alright, so we've arrived. I wonder how fast this is going to be. I believe you gain, like, 355 from the upgrades. So we're looking at, like, 1500 horsepower here. And, like I said before, I know there's a glitch to make this much faster. But I'm trying to upgrade my Bugatti without doing any type of glitches. So, yeah. Now, for customizing our car, what color do we want our Bugatti to be? We could go for a blue. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this blue isn't that bad on this Bugatti. This is a decent blue for this. Um, let's see what purple looks like. Purple isn't that bad on the Bugatti. Um, let's try gray. Well, that's more like a white. What about black? And then I raise the thing, um, the reflection, or lower the reflection, actually. Put it like 0 0.01. 0 0.001? Yeah, I, I kind of like this. I'm not going to lie. I, I like this. I'm going to get a black Bugatti. Uh, confirm purchase and exit. There we go. And again, wait, I had 80 something mil or 80 something thousand, and now I'm down to 50,000. So, I only got charged 30-something thousand, even though the purchases should have been like 40. So, I don't know what happened there. Again, I, I guess it's some kind of weird glitch when it comes to purchasing. But we now have 1535 horsepower, which is a lot of horsepower. Let's see how different this is. Let's see if we could hit our top speed much faster. Let's see all of that. Now, I definitely think that I'm going to be winning some uh, drag races. You see... Um, in the Huracan, that's only 965 horsepower, you kind of lose a lot of drag races because a lot of people have like nice cars or they're using glitches to make their cars super fast. But now I think I have a fair chance since I have a Bugatti Veyron that tops out at 256. Again, I think the Hennessy Venom tops out at a higher top speed, but I, I feel like I should have, I, I feel like getting a Bugatti is definitely the best move here. Um, at least getting it first. I'll definitely get a Hennessy Venom later and I'll customize it and all that. But for the time right now, the time being, I, I just I just really needed this Bugatti because I, I feel super cool having just a black Bugatti. Like this is just this is such a cool car, and um, like just listen to the sounds here. I'm gonna just uh, really quickly I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit so you guys can hear it. Just listen to this. All right, so I went to a more isolated spot and I raised the volume, and I'm just gonna be quiet here so you guys could hear the engine because this car sounds really really good.
All right, so I'm back now, and dude, the card just sounds really, really good. But now, like I said before, um, without further ado, it's time to beat some people in some drag races. Because I really doubt, like I said, unless they're abusing the glitch, I doubt many people have cars that will keep up with a Bugatti Veyron. Um, let me see what people are driving. I see a Mustang. I think I would beat the Mustang. I think I could beat a Super even with the glitch. Uh, I think I heard of someone having a 1500 horsepower Corvette using some glitches. So I feel like maybe I don't have a chance against that Corvette. But either way, I'm just going to wait for someone to line up here. Um, let me actually just line up a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Alright, now we just put in neutral and we wait. Um, now this is this is the car I was talking about, the Hennessy Venom. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Stocky also has 1200 horsepower and its top speed I'm pretty sure is like 270 or something. So I'm definitely going to lose this race. So I'd rather wait until more people line up. But this guy wants to race me now. You know what, I'll do the race just to see how bad this car is in comparison. Let's see. Um, Alright, so I think... The guy in the Hennessy just didn't go. But look at how look at how far that Mustang is. Like the, the Mustang was quite literally eating my dust because the Mustang was like directly behind me, and I literally saw it drive into the dust particle behind my car. Like the Mustang literally ate my dust. Um, let me get out the way here so I don't crash into anybody. Um, so yeah, a lot of cars just all went at once. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna line up and I'm just gonna wait. And if someone presses the button, ooh, actually. I want to race the GTR. I know the GTR has a top speed of like 202, I believe, 203. So even if it has a lot of horsepower, I'm going to gain towards the end because I have a higher top speed. Um, but let's see, the Mustangs line up. Okay, so this is probably my best chance at winning some races right here. Uh, even with the Mustang starting somewhat early, let's see. Uh, okay, I guess we're not going because the GTR stopped, so I stopped. Um, let's go back in line. Hopefully they're not already starting. Uh, okay, they're not, they're not, they're not. Alright, let me line up right here. Uh, let me reverse a little bit. And let's uh, get in position. And now we wait for someone to press F to start the countdown. Alright, someone pressed it. Let me rev my engine. Let's let's see, who am I going to lose to? I think I'm losing to Hennessy Venom for sure. Um, or maybe not. I'm losing to the R8, interestingly enough. I'm beating the Corvette. Yeah, the Hennessy Venom, look at this thing. Like... Like, the top speed is like 270-something, even when I was topping out like 250-something, this dude was catching up really, really close. Like, he was going so fast. Um, that R8 definitely has some kind of uh, glitch going on there, because that was just insanely fast. Assuming that the way that the developers intended you to get your upgrades is to buy only the top tier ones, uh, like I have been doing, maybe I'm the one that's doing it all wrong, and maybe you're actually supposed to gain like insane amounts of horsepower. But yeah, so I beat the Corvette, and I beat the um, the other car, uh, the Hennessy Venom. However, like I said before, I think the Hennessy Venom, he just started really late, because I really think I, ha I should have had no chance at beating that, uh, that Venom right there. Let's do one more drag race before we end today's video, though. Um, hopefully, we could get a bunch of people on the line, and we could all race, um, and I could see... Just where I stand, even among like all the glitched cars, I want to see where I stand. Um, but yeah, for sure, this this Venom GT right here should definitely be beating me. I should not be losing to this R8, uh, this GTR got stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, nope, I meant to go into neutral. Like I was saying before though, I should definitely have no problem beating at least these three cars. Um, so we're revving our engines, we're waiting for it to turn green, and then we go. Um, I was faster off the line than everyone else. Yeah, that already has some kind of glitch going on. But yeah, you can see the Corvette is catching, not catching up, but the Corvette is kind of like holding on kind of like right behind. So I have a feeling that Corvette, uh, I, I don't know what's going on there. That has to have like at least like a thousand horsepower, like minimum. But that was a very good race. So as you can see, I came in second to a very likely glitched R8. So technically I came in first place um, among the, I'm assuming are legit cars which is the Corvette, the GTR, and the Mustang. So, as of right now, I'm feeling very good. Because I believe even in my best car, I would have lost to at least that Corvette, and I might have probably, I probably would have lost to that GTR as well, honestly. Because I've been, like, even in my GTR, I've been losing to other people's GTRs, so, like I said before, I'm assuming that that person probably has a glitch GTR, and I probably would have lost that. Um, but, yeah, so I finally have a chance at winning drag races now that I have a 1500 horsepower Bugatti Veyron. But yeah, so in today's video, we built a 1500 horsepower Bugatti Veyron that finally lets me win one of these drag races, or at least come in second against a bunch of people. 
because, like I said before, with all the glitched cars going around, I really don't have a shot in any of my other cars, and this has finally changed things. I finally have a chance to, at least against the non-glitched cars, I at least, and even against like the lower end glitched cars, I have a chance at winning. So I'm very happy with this video and the outcome. Even though I might not have a Venom GT which can do 270, I'm happy with my Bugatti Veyron that can do 256 and win quite a few drag races. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And really quickly before I end the video, can you guys let me know down in the comments what car do you want to see me build next? Because honestly, I really want to build what you guys want to see. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.